welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I am at Walmart and I see a bar of hair tea and an Arkansas, um, an Arkansas black apple tree. Um, I cannot believe they have an Arkansas black apple. And um, I think it's the only one. This is a pear. That's another Bartlett pear. But this one, I don't know. The tag is off of this one. Oh my goodness. If this one was another um, Arkansas black apple, I would get it for my mother. I am definitely going to go ahead and get this. This is an heirloom apple tree. Let's see if I can get it in the buggy. But it's an heirloom apple tree. And very unique. Hard to find, actually. I, I, I don't come across them. Matter of fact, I haven't come across them at all. So I can't believe that Walmart has one. Um, unique flavors. And in this apple sweet tart crisp um read things about it being even cinnamony or um different notes of that sort i don't know um i do want that bartlett pear i'm really thinking about getting that as well because i don't have a pear tree um but i'm wondering if that is another apple tree but it's, it's hard to say because the skins on them look the same. Let's look at the leaf. This leaf here and this leaf here. I think that is the same tree. Mm. Okay, I had to stop and look at the seeds. I always just like to see what is new and if there's anything interesting. I've never seen a rainbow mix. They put a rainbow mix of okra um, in here, which is really neat. They have an orange okra. White. Oh, that's it. And I was able to find also this one here. Thought that was neat. And I really want to grow some of those double mix English babies. I'm going to have to see what that is. Oh. The tree is in the buggy, but I'm not in my usual car, and I just realized that. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get this tree in the car, you guys. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys. So, I purchased the Arkansas Black Apple tree. <laughs> And I also purchased some chamomile, some um, pineapple sage. Um, I'm gonna make sure I put that one in the ground this season because I put it in a container um, last season because the one I had for two years had died and it didn't make it in that container. So I'm gonna definitely put it in the ground. So you guys come on along with me. We're gonna go into the garden. We get back to the house and we are going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and get these things planted. Not the tree, because I'm planting out the orchard on a separate day. Okay, let's go. Hi, friends. I am at Lowe's, and I um, just wanted to pop in here and show you guys what they have. I just came from Home Depot, and I must say, Lowe's has a few um, unique varieties that I haven't seen. Um, so far so I'm like really excited because pineapple sage no pineapple I'm sorry pineapple mint oh gosh y'all know you guys know I'm in Atlanta so I'm over here by the airport I'm at the uh, Lowe's on Camp Creek and yeah, so we're going to um, take a look and see if there's anything that I want to add to the garden that I don't have. And that is pretty much all I'm looking for. I actually was looking for some cabbage because 
Um, when I came back from my vacation, the there was a moth that got in my um, cabbage and some of my broccolis and they damaged a lot of them. So I was able to save some of them, but I really needed more. And I was gonna grab some to get, you know, to have a jump start, but I do not see any, which is so strange. I didn't see any at um, Home Depot and I don't see any here at Lowe's. So I'm gonna go inside, grab a buggy really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab that pineapple mint that I see over there. And I believe it was, there was another variety here that I will grab as well. So let me go and grab that and then I will show you guys what I purchased. Come on, let's go. All right, I have my buggy and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one. But I believe it was something else. A lot of their plants are really withering because it's so hot out here. They've been sunburned. But it was something else I've seen that I may grab as well. Let me see if I can find it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. What is this? Uh, this is going in my buggy. This is this is a tea plant. How cool is that? How cool is that? What a great find. $13.98. I think that's definitely worth that. I'm gonna get that. Okay, now, was that not a good find? That was the only one. I would totally get my mother one of those. Mom, there's only one left. But she always says that as long as one of us has it, we both have it. So, um, I don't see anything else, y'all. No, I don't. I have to show y'all how big this sign is. This is gorgeous. Look, I mean, this is a thirty-dollar plant, but look how big this Boston sign is. Look, and it's growing in that little pot. I don't even know. They could get that big, like tall. What in the world? Gee, in that little bit of container. Amazing. All right, guys, so I had to switch shoes. <laughs> I had on those other ones, and I was just flipping and sliding, flopping all over the place, and 
mud and dirt was getting all in my shoes. So these are the transplants that I just got from my mother. Thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. She had lots of cabbage seedlings. And because she knew I was looking for some, she was willing to share. So cabbage, like any brassica, can be planted pretty deep. And because these are pretty nice sized transplants, I am gonna plant them pretty deep. I've tried to amend the soil pretty decently with black cows and compost and manure. I'm just gonna put it in there, pop it in, cover it up to about the top of the stem right there, give it some stability and watch it grow. They can be planted about 18 inches apart. Even, even numbers up to two feet, depending on how much space you have. So I'm gonna do 18 inches because I'm gonna try to get as many have them in as I possibly can. Okay, separate them out. Put it down in there. This is purple cabbage, which we love in our slaws. So good. Oh, she's looking pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the two in, and I have many, many more to go. Taking the rocks out. Because they are so ugly. Good night. We also will prohibit those roots from going down deep. So make sure you get those rocks out. All right. to mix them up. They may experience a little bit of transplant shock, but within a day or so, they will spring back. Mm-hmm. 
see if I can get all of them on this one row. One more. Now, this one is experiencing a little more transplant shock than the others, but I do think it will be okay. I try to transplant in the cooler parts of the day, but unfortunately I did visit her in the middle of the day when it was, it was probably um, mid morning to afternoon where it, in, in, it turned into afternoon. And now we're approaching the, the early part of the evening when the sun has started to try to set. When the sun has just started to set. Okay, here we go. Check out all these beautiful seedlings. There's some there. And these may be kohlrabi. She said she thinks these are kohlrabi. And more here. And this is a cabbage. We'll go ahead and get that one set in the ground. And this one went too with the purple cabbage row. Those two. And then we'll go ahead and get these transplanted out as well. Alright, so this is the this is the progress that I have made in the potage. And what I'm going to do now is plant out um, the Charles Wakefield cabbage that um, we grew in our winter containers. So that's what's going in now. And there's a little section right here that I am going to put the rest of these seedlings over here my mother said that these should be some kohlrabi so what I'm gonna do or some turnips so what I'm gonna do is put them all along in this area right here if it's like a triangle the pathways are gonna come right along the side of that peppermint right there so Charles Wakefield going in right here this corner of the triangle will pop those um, bachelor buttons that are blooming in the container um, from the winter sewing. We'll pop those right there and that'll give that a nice pop of color. This is celery going to seed right here. Celery going to seed right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those sewn in right now. Let's There are two in each container, so that should be plenty of space for this row. Okay guys, so I got those cabbage, I uh, got the cabbage, the red cabbage set in the ground. Now I'm gonna water them in and King Ness and I are back here in the back part of the garden where the chicken coop is and we're trying to um, pretty much get our plans together for the chicken run. So we're back there working on that as well. And I'm thinking about just starting to go ahead and work on the little garden fence that I want to put just around the garden area just to try to keep those deers out because they've already come into the garden and they've started munching on what we have in the garden so we got to get the fence up we got to get it up quick and we got to keep them out so we may be working pretty late today but I'll keep you guys posted oh gosh so thank you guys for coming with me today I hope you had a really good time with me in the garden today and shopping today 
I will share the rest of my garden haul with you. I'll do that in another video though. And I'm wishing you the best results and the best success in harvest in your garden. I'll see you on the next video.